Okay, so, um, my friend asked me to do a, um, 20 question video, um, and she's gonna do the same on her channel, and so, she gave me 20 questions to answer, and that's what I'm gonna do today, so, let's get started. Um, my most prized possession would probably be my phone. I know that probably sounds very, like, weird or whatever but it's true um I'm like constantly on my phone I like couldn't live very long without my phone I hate being grounded from my phone which I really don't get very often but you know when it does happen I'm like when am I gonna get my phone back I'm like that's like probably gonna have to be the answer my most prized possession is going to be my cell phone which is an iPhone 4s in white with a pink case and I put a little it's for a, a Motorola phone but it's a little screen cleaner so I kind of just tied it to my case so whenever I need I can just clean my screen my favorite color would have to be neon green um, that's my favorite color and um, it kind of took a little bit more of an importance because my grandma um, got non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer so the cancer awareness color for that is lime green so it kind of I mean my favorite color before that was lime green but now I'm probably not going to change my favorite color because she had she had cancer she finally got rid of it and we're hoping that it doesn't come back. She's in remission. So that kind of also is going to make it where I'm probably not going to change my favorite color. That's just going to stay my favorite color forever. Um, I don't really put myself into a high school group because usually when you do, you only are subjective to that group of friends. And I like to have... um what's the word various friends so I really don't I'm not really into that I kind of just you know go to school and do what I gotta do and you know whatever friends I have those are the friends I have um so you know there's really not an answer for that I guess what I gave you could be an answer but I mean I don't really put myself into that kind of stuff I kind of just you know make friends and whatever that's truth I guess I really don't I'm not really into that I never really was so I guess high school didn't make it any different um I listen to all kinds of music um I don't like jazz and all that boring slow music and I don't like screamo or heavy metal Sorry, Kelsey, because <laughs> I know you like that, but I don't, um, mostly I just listen to, you know, the new songs, I don't really know what they would be called, and I listen to a lot of country, yeah, um, my favorite band would, I don't really, my favorite band would have to be a tie between Three Doors Down and Creed. Cause that's really I mean I listen to that kind of music, so Three Doors Down or Creed. Or maybe Slipknot. I don't think that's I don't know. I don't really know to be honest. I just kinda listen to music. So yeah. Um, I don't really have a pet peeve. Um Really, to be honest, I kind of just, I mean, stuff really doesn't bother me that much unless it's, like, a big deal. Um, I can't really think of one, like, to say I really don't have very many pet peeves. I kind of, stuff doesn't really bother me. Um, I guess a pet peeve could be disorganization, because I like stuff to be very organized. And, like, my room, everything has to be in a certain place. Like, people think I'm not organized, 
because sometimes if you walk into my room, there's stuff on the floor. But to be completely honest, that stuff on the floor has its own place. Like, it's not just laying on the floor. It's, like, in the center of the floor or to the left of the floor or to the right of the floor. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it has to, everything has to be in a shelf or something for you to be organized, but not me. So I guess, yeah, my pet peeve could be disorganization. That probably could be it. I'm on special. Hmm. Well, I am talking to someone right now, and my hair is just, ugh, it's drying, so it's frizzy. I didn't put any leave-in conditioner. That was so off topic. I'm sorry. But, um, I am talking to someone that I have been talking on and off for, for five years, and we've dated once out of those five years. So, yeah, we kind of go, I don't know, it's complicated. But, you know, besides that aspect, someone special in my life would be my grandma. My grandma is very special to me. My grandma does everything for me, pretty much. Anything, every time I need something, she's always there. Whatever it would be, so, yeah. Probably my grandma. Because, <laughs> um, you know, the other guy, I'm not going to say his name, because I don't want everyone to know about that. But... He, we're kind of on and off, so it's not really set in stone. So, you know, my grandma's my grandma. She's always going to be my grandma. So, probably my grandma. But, yeah. This is a very good question. Honestly, people think I'm mean. I, I, and this really probably isn't just me. This is probably all people, but, you know, whatever. People think I'm mean because I speak my mind. You know, some people just, like, don't say anything and they just, like, go by life or whatever. I'm not like that. Um, if I have a problem with something, I'm going to speak it right then and there at that time. That's, most people just hate that because they think that I should just not say anything and just let the small stuff go. But I don't. And a lot of people don't like that. So, I mean, it's whatever. It's who I am. So, kind of can't help it. But that's the thing that people don't like about me the most is they think I'm mean. I'm really not mean. I just, like, speak what I say. I mean, speak what I think. Speak what I think. So, yeah. This will probably have to be my hair. Um, I hate that, like, when my hair dries, it's, like, really pretty and curly. But, like, in the process of drying, it's, like, really frizzy. And, I mean, I don't know if y'all can tell... But it's like frizzy. It's not really curly. And I wish it would just be like curly when I got out of the shower. When it dries, just be curly. But not have to be all frizzy in between. I just absolutely hate that. It just, I just don't like it. I wish I could change it. So I might just get a straight perm and my hair will be straight. And then I guess I can like curl it or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's, that's the thing that I don't like. This will probably have to be seeing my friends. That probably sounds really bad, but it's the truth. I just don't like school. I, I don't know. I just don't. Either that or the snack bar. Because I loved the snack bar Crispitos. They were, like, delicious. So, yeah. It's a tie between friends and the snack bar. That makes me sound like a fatty, but whatever. I don't care. I really like the Crispitos. So, yeah. Well, the obvious, I wash my face and brush my teeth. Um, I don't really know. Um, I guess text everyone goodnight. I don't know. Oh, I watch TV. I really do. I watch TV every night before I go to bed and catch up and watch my show for that day. Because I don't like watching commercials, so I just record my shows and then I watch them before I go to bed. Um, Mondays... I watch, what do I watch on Monday? I've been watching Intervention lately, but I don't really make that a show. Tuesdays, I watch Teen Mom. Wednesdays, I watch The Real World. Thursdays, I watch Snooki and JWoww. And Friday, I usually just catch up on all my shows in between. Like, I watch, like, True Life, but it doesn't set, a, it's not a set day. And, um... 
you know, uh, I, I, I recorded Teen Wolf. Like, I got into the first season. And then the second season, I kind of just fall behind. So I need to, and then some didn't record because my recorder messed up. So I need to go online and watch those and catch up on that. So I do watch Teen Wolf. I think it comes, that comes on Mondays, I think, yeah. So that will be my Monday show. But I haven't really watched it lately. I only watched like the first five episodes. No, the first four episodes. I haven't watched the fifth through the current one. So I'm kind of far behind. So maybe I will do that tonight. Okay. Um, this will probably have to be my, all the fun times I had with my grandma and my mom um yeah that's probably what I remember the most and also what I enjoyed the most so um yeah probably all the fun times I had with my mom and my grandma my dad me and my dad really didn't do much when I was a kid we really don't do much now so it was mostly my mom and my grandma mostly my mom and my grandma sorry Ooh, this is a good question. Um, favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I don't know. I have a lot of favorites. Um, I guess if I really had to choose one, it would probably be Black Eyed Pea. Yeah, Black Eyed Pea. Um... I don't really think I've gotten a bad gift because my parents and my family, you know, really know what I'm into and what I like. So I really don't think I have gotten anything that was bad or anything or that I didn't like. Um, I don't think so. And if I did, I don't remember it. Like, I mean, because, you know, I really haven't gotten anything that I didn't like. So yeah. Um, I really don't have any enemies. Um, I kind of don't worry about that stuff. Um, nope. I mean, I have people that I don't like, but I don't consider them enemies. I just don't like them. Like. It's weird. It's it's weird for me because I know they're kind of like the same thing, but I don't consider them the same thing. Well, I don't have to think about this one. <laughs> Jordan Page Delcomen, my best friend since fifth grade. Why? Well, for one, when I moved to Dayton in fifth grade, she was my first friend. She was the first person that, like, I talk to and I hang out with and all that so that's a good reason and she's always there for me and you know whenever I need someone to talk to or I need someone's advice or anything like that she's always there um I think we like we just I feel like we're just meant to be friends I don't really know how to explain it when I'm around her I just feel so comfortable like I can tell her anything and I know that and, you know, she won't go and tell everyone. She's never backstabbed me, so that's a good thing. Um, never, like, ever. We've had fights, We've, but she's never backstabbed me. She's never told anyone anything that I've told her or anything like that. She's just a good friend to have. Probably showing me how to be strong, no matter like what's going on or anything you know there's always a way to get out of it that's probably the thing that I've learned that I'm gonna thank them for so yeah that's probably what it would be because you know they've always taught me that no matter what kind of situation you're in there's always a way out of it so I thank them for that Um, it would definitely have to be, um, 
acceptant of gay people, lesbian people, if you don't want to prefer, if you're a girl and don't want to say gay and you want to say lesbian, I really don't think it matters, but um, that, I mean, along with that would come, you know, people not judging them, people not, you know, not, like, I don't really know how to explain it. Definitely, um, coming with that would be legalizing gay marriage in every everywhere. I don't feel that it should be illegal because I feel that if you love someone, you should be able to marry them. I mean, no one voted for straight people marriage. There was just a way to do it. Why does it have to be a judgment and a vote or whatever for gay marriage? I just feel that that's stupid. This would have to be a rumor about myself. Um, me and my best friend got our pictures done and the photographer thought that I should pick her up and carry her and walk down the road while she take a picture. So doing that, I pulled a muscle in my back and I really couldn't walk. So I missed like about a week and a half of school and people decided to spread a rumor that I was pregnant and like I didn't want to come back to school because I wasn't like I was scared about what people would think that was just like plain stupid I don't even know where people would come up with that rumor but that's probably the weirdest thing I've ever heard this will probably have to be um self-confidence I wish that I had more. Um, if I could change that, I would, but I really don't think I can. I know that sounds weird, but I don't think I can. So that would probably be that would probably be the main thing that I would choose. This would definitely be the way that I look at life and serious subjects. Um, most people don't have <sighs> common sense, for a better word, about some subjects. So, like, teen pregnancy, I think it's stupid. I don't think that you should be 15, 16, 17, 18. I think you should be at least 19 or 20 before you start having sex and before you get, you get pregnant. I mean, you can have sex and think you're not going to get pregnant, but, I mean, I don't know. That and, you know, um, I'm very open-minded, so I don't really know if that's probably two things. I'm probably going to have to change the open-minded thing. Um, I kind of like to try new things. Um like new food, new environment, new situations, you know, new stuff like that. I like to try it all so I can say, oh, hey, I did this and I liked it or I didn't like it. Most people don't. They're just like, no, nope, never tried it, not going to. And about some things, not about all things, but I definitely like that about myself. Well, this has been my 20 questions. So thank you for watching. Um... I had a lot of fun doing this, so thank you for watching, um, subscribe to my channel, like and comment, um, I just want to say that I love all y'all for watching my videos, I really have a lot of fun making videos, and so I'm glad that I have people who actually watch them, and I'm not just sitting here talking to a camera and no one's watching them. So thank you for watching and I want to thank Kelsey Craig for the questions.